Rory McIlroy's relentless assault on U.S. Open records continues. The 22-year-old took what looked like another leisurely stroll around Congressional while putting a death lock on the Open lead. McIlroy shot a 3-under 68 Saturday to head into the final round with an 8-shot advantage in pursuit of his first major title after some near misses. Yeah, I mean, I've learned a lot from all these experiences, and I've had, I feel as if I've had enough experiences leading majors and, and being up there that, you know, the time is, the time is right to, to go ahead and, and get my first one. McElroy's 14-under total is the lowest under-par score in open history, and that includes Tiger Woods' historic victory in 2000 when he took apart Pebble Beach and the field to win by 15. McElroy's 199 strokes after 54 holes set another open record. You know, very pleased again. You know, played really, really solid golf on the back nine. Um, just that little blemish on the 10th, but, you know, I had a really good shot in there. It just it was a couple of yards too big. So, you know, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with, with the way I've played today, and, you know, I just need to, to do that for 18 more holes. Cheers of let's go Rory and celebratory singing echoed through the trees as McElroy effortlessly went about his business. It was incredible. I mean, the, the support that... Um, that that our group got out there was was fantastic, and uh, you know it's it, it's nice when you you get nearly get a standing ovation every green you walk up onto, you know. So um, you know, hopefully, I can just give them something else to to cheer about tomorrow. His accurate driving, precise iron play, and pinpoint putting has put him in position to follow another Northern Irishman as the Open champ. Just out there, free swing and aiming at every pin like he's supposed to shoot 65, you know. So. Uh, like I say, the setup's allowing him to do that, and uh, you know, if he remains aggressive and remains doing what he's doing, that's phenomenal. You know, I'm I'm so happy for him. I hope he goes on and does it because uh, you know this has been wait I've been waiting for this to happen. You know, he's he's that good. There's no doubt about it. Y. E. Yang is in second place with Lee Westwood leading a group tied for third at five under after he shot a six under sixty-five. You know, I said maybe if I could get to ten under. After the weekend, then that might have a chance, but you don't know what Roy's going to do. You don't know how he's going to deal with the pressure and deal with a, a big lead. You know, he's had a big lead just recently in a major and didn't deal with it well. You know, so there's, there's pressure on him with regards to that, you know. So we'll see. And, you know, all I can do is control my game and, and try and shoot as low a score as, as possible for me. Westwood is referring to McElroy blowing a four shot lead on the final day of the Masters. If Yang or Westwood or anybody else in the field for that matter should come back and win on Sunday, it would mark the biggest fourth round comeback in U.S. Open history. That was set back in 1960, seven shots by Arnold Palmer. But with the way McElroy has been playing, it appears that at least that open record is pretty safe. Covering the U.S. Open, Jim Militello, the Associated Press, Bethesda, Maryland.